Welcome back to a new video. It is October 27th of 2024. And today this is gonna be my second hunt in Ohio this year uh, and second sit on my property this year. I'm gonna be going down the road about a mile from my house here, hunting on my cabin property. Uh, it's 10 acres there. I've got this spot called the cookie jar. I've got two hang on stands hung in the same tree. We're gonna be hunting over a mock scrape. Um, I've had a lot of history in this spot over the last few years of just bucks cruising the shelf that this spot's on and um, some daylight cruisers, some big deer too. Uh, there's not deer here every day. I, it's just occasionally, you know, some does come through, uh, but we're getting that time in the season where bucks are starting to get on does. Uh, their anticipation's high on the rut starting. So hopefully we can go in there, have a doe come in and maybe a buck following her. Um, I'm pretty excited. A little bit of a temp drop today. It's been in the mid seventies this week and the high today is 58. So uh, hopefully these deer are up and moving and cruising. There's a pretty good size eight I'm looking for. He's probably 120, 125 inch deer. Um, he comes through. I'm definitely letting an arrow fly, giving a shot. Um, and there's an 11 point round. He's hit or miss. I mean, he's both these deer are hit or miss, but uh, I'm just really hoping one cruises through tonight. But uh, I'm going to quit yapping and let's go get up in the stand. stand got the big camera set up which I'm talking to you on now uh, camera arm hung up got the bow up uh, we're strapped in with the harness uh, I'm sitting on my 10 acre property in southeast Ohio this spot the cookie jar it is a south facing slope um, and I need a north wind to hunt this um, which we've got right now so this is perfect but this spot uh, middle of this ridge there's a shelf which we're sitting on and uh, these deer cruise this like crazy. Um, I've had a lot of history with some big deer cruising this shelf. And I've always had cameras up here, never a stand, but this year we finally got one up here. There's also some oak trees back here to my left uh, that they kind of feed on before they get onto the shelf. If anything, I'd like to get some videos of some deer, uh, maybe some young bucks too for uh, to look back on in the future, you know, um, and hopefully harvest those deer in the future. So I'll shut up and uh, let's hope for a good sit. Nice 
nice deer next year. Uh, but it got me pretty excited, so, so that's really cool. It, it completely missed the camera, so I mean, that's like, I guess that's why you can't always go off the trail camera. All right, back home. So a little recap on the hunt. That was, uh, I, I was pretty excited. Uh, it, it feels really good to see deer on your own property, you know, see that the work you're putting in and that you, you've picked a good spot and not get detected and all that, you know, that that's a good feeling. And uh, this deer right here, this is actually the only deer I've killed off that property. We've had it, this will be the third year we've had it. So that's the only deer I've killed off that property. And to uh, see that buck, well, it's not the only deer, that's the only buck, but um, it it's a good feeling. I, I, I'm actually super, super happy with that. And then them does at the end, uh, I was really kind of thinking there'd be another buck on them, but there wasn't. So uh, it's October 27th. We've got two in, in about, not next week, but the week after. I've got that whole week off. I'm really hoping it's ramping and ready to go. And I think we'll I think we'll get something. So I hope you're enjoying these hunt videos. I'm really enjoying making them. Uh, and it's good to look back on for future reference and stuff, you know. But thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how your season's going, if you've got anything yet. And I'll see you next time.